Yes? Come on, let's go. murderer won't be hurting anyone else. I made sure of that. You... you got him? I wish I'd been there. Thank you. Thank you for all you did for me. Not any more than I can forget her. Take this. It's not much, but we've never been rich. Thanks, but no need. I believe the days to come will be hard enough for you without any money trouble. People like you are rare. You're definitely not from here. Goodbye, then. And thanks again. For everything. Thanks again for helping me out. Can I do something for you? I heard you can fill me in on how to get in touch with the Resistance. Me? That's a pile of shit. Hey, listen. Not a safe topic. But you did help me out. They meet back there. I just keep my eyes closed. They think if a patrol comes by, the fights will keep them busy. There's a password. There can be no rest. It comes from their song. Thanks. I won't forget it. Thanks. I'll go have a look. Hey, where do you think you're going like that? There can be no rest. Until they drink of our tears, you may enter. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Forget it. You want to meet the Resistance? Consider it done. What do you want? I'll warn you right away that if they smell a trap, they'll kill you. Stop it, Marco. We know who they are. They have no reason to betray us. Really? Even the Renegade? I bet he could get his place back at the source if he turned us in. I doubt it. They know me too well and want me alive. They know I'm not made for the source. Roy won't betray you. They want him too. Please, you have to listen. All right, kid. Talk. My parents were militia. When I came back from the Abundance Camp, ruins were all that was left of their home. Poor kid. Almost everyone in the militia was killed in a single night. 
Not many of them got away. And they're with us now. I don't even know what happened to them. They could have been captured. I don't know. I have to do something. I can't just stand around twiddling my thumbs. You look sincere. And we need people like you. You, on the other hand, don't count on it. I can't take the risk. The Technomancers are too unstable. Marco, we should maybe talk to the others before deciding. After all, he could be useful to us with everything he can do and all. Judy, I just tried to talk things over with the others as much as possible, but I said no. This man is dangerous. I don't trust him. Great. I can understand being paranoid can help in your kind of situation, but you're going a bit far. Please, Roy, let me try and convince them that you're an honorable man. Just give me some time. What was that? An explosion, but not one of ours. That wasn't an explosion. Only a fluid overload can make that kind of noise. The Technomancers again. We should get out of here. That kind of noise will bring a patrol straight here. Let's go, kid. Now or never. I... Roy, sorry. See you soon. Take it easy, kid. I should go see this explosion close up.
What the hell is she doing here? It won't take long for a patrol to show up. I better get her out of the way. There you go. Looks like she's waking up. Did you really think you could kill my master and get away with it? After running away with your tail between your legs? You thought a weak woman would never come after you, didn't you? Mary, Mary. Like you said, your master didn't give us a choice. You're exhausted and really worked up. I... I feel weak. But when I got here, I was full of anger and power. What has happened to me? You had an overload you couldn't get rid of. Young Technomancers are almost never told about things like that. It makes it harder for them to escape. You were alone, and all that power took over. Now you're empty. You should rest. I feel awful. Like I've been ripped to shreds inside. The overload was too strong. You need help. I'll go find some medicine so you can recover. Here, take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you, will you teach me to control the Overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the Overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did. If it happens... I want it to be because you wanted to, not because you feel you have to. You could help me a lot, Mary, but you're not my slave. Maybe, but I want to survive. And if that's what it takes, it doesn't matter. I'll say it again. You don't have to, Mary. You should only give your body to someone if you want to, not treat it like a piece of meat. I... Before now, everyone used my body in exchange for my life, or for knowledge. I'll think about it. Thank you, Roy. Hello, Roy. Can I do something for you? I was wondering... What are the Abundance Technomancers like? Do they have the same status as here? I... I don't know much about it. But from what I saw, the people are afraid of them. Just like here even though they'll never be allowed to hold the highest offices. But they're in the army. They're officers. They are not allowed to form cliques or teams. A master is simply allowed an apprentice, nothing more. They're primarily a military unit, for the battlefield, nothing more. Why did you take the risk of following me? You would have kept your status and rank with abundance. I... I was so angry. Livid with rage. Sean had saved and protected me. I wanted to avenge him. Now I see that he was using me. But how was I to know that then, when he was all that I knew? I followed you for one reason. To kill you. You said he saved you? Yes, I... I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it. You don't want to change what you're wearing? Your dress is ripped to shreds. Not really, um, discreet. This dress reminds me of who I am. It's a testimony of my shredded past. I've lost so much due to my ignorance. Today, I am what I am. A pariah. A renegade hunted by my peers. But also a new woman. Free to determine her own conventions. Without bonds. I suppose I can understand that. You're a little lost here. It's your last link to your past life. All right, fine. We'll go on like that. How did you become apprentice to the warden of a prison camp? It's a long story. I... I'm sorry. I really don't know you. I'd rather talk about it some other time. You still don't want to talk to me about your past? I... I'm sorry, Roy. I promise that when it feels right, 
and I've had time to sort it out, I'll tell you my story. I want to tell you something else. Come with me. I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. Mr. Temperance, I'm Devotion. General Honor Grant sent me. He'd like to talk to you. Strange kind of invitation, seeing how they're looking for me. I thought I had observed all the formalities. Please forgive me. If you fear for your life, please understand that the General does not currently wish you any harm. Now that's a relief. Are you sure you're normal? I believe so. On the other hand, I'm only following the orders I've been given. Given your current, uh, situation, I suggest you go to him through the Tierville Underground. You sure got the right name, don't you? Devoted and calm as they come. Yeah, all right, I'll go. And me? Am I invited too? I think you can come too. We didn't know Mr. Temperance had a... companion. That explains why the invitation didn't mention you. Please forgive us. I... I think I'd like to go too. Okay, let's go together then. You shouldn't let your friend walk around dressed like that. She sticks out a mile. Don't be angry with him, madam. I wanted to remain like this. Cute, but not all there, huh? What do you two want? I don't have anything more to propose you at the moment, honey. You already helped me a lot. Thank you. 
I gotta leave this city pretty quick.
Yes, what do you want? Kind of a weird place to mount guard. What are you doing here? I'm a guard. Huh, not very talkative, are you? Yes, what do you want? The name's Roy. Roy Temperance. I have a meeting with General Honor Grant. I was told to come here. Yes, you can enter. of giving you up to the source. To be perfectly frank, I'll admit I'm not very fond of them. And they feel the same way about me. But I'm high enough up the ranks that they can't do much against me. Or those who work for me. Ah, I think I'm starting to see what you're getting at. All right, listen. I'm trying to understand how they got so powerful. I am worried. So I decided to put together a group of people to find out. You already know Devotion. She is my eyes and sometimes my hand. I'd like you to join her in the group. But I'm sure you have questions. I have one. You say you never like Technomancers, yet you ask Roy for help. I know how to tell the difference between the Technomancers from the Source and a Renegade girl. And even if you obviously have the same skills and are a bit disturbed, you'll understand that I'm not worried about you betraying me. Neither of you will find the source and reveal the existence of my little group. And both your skills and knowledge of the enemy will be useful to me. More questions? I know you're a friend of wisdom. This group kind of looks like treason to me. You are mistaken. It is, on the contrary, my duty to protect my friend and Dowser from what threatens him. In this case, the Technomancers. I don't know how they've managed to convince him to give them so much power. Just like me, he knows they... that you are unstable. That's why they didn't have that much power before. But they are gaining strength, and I have to protect Aurora and Wisdom from their schemes. Why not help the Resistance if you want to go against the Technomancers? After all, they have pretty much the same goal. Not really. I know they hate the Technomancers as much as I do, but they are idealists, and they want to change society. Power to the people. Allow me to tell you that that is as credible and inoffensive as what we are faced with from your former colleagues. Chaos. And in a few months, an invasion by the neighboring guilds. I did not win the war against Abundant to see my guild devoured so soon after my victory. Those people may have good intentions, but they're dangerous. And devotion? You make her sound like you're crony. Who are you exactly anyway, miss? The general told you. I am his eyes. And hands when there must be killing. He took me in before the war. I was only a child. Since then, I have been showing him my gratitude. You can trust her as much as me. As long as you don't betray me, of course. You're in the government, you work with the Technomancers, and you're best friends with your Dowser wisdom. Why in hell would I join a group under the thumb corrupt and murdering people, huh? General, let me make him eat his words. No, Devotion, it's a good question. I put up with the Technomancers and their madness more than I work with them. As for the murders, I suppose you're referring to the disappearances in the militia. That is their work, not mine even if I can't understand the reasons for it. And as for the corruption, I think you're mistaken. I'm no saint, but I can say that today I am the only defense left against the Technomancer's ghoul. You're being hunted, tracked by the Technomancers, as you know. If you have my protection, they'll have to leave you alone. I'm sure you understand it's not the kind of decision you make just like that. I need time to think. I understand. 
And I have to admit that I find that reassuring in a way. You deserve your name more than it would appear. Temperance. I'll get back to you in a while. Thanks. I'm going in that case. Goodbye, Roy. But don't forget, if you have even the slightest feeling for Aurora, I am its last defender. Roy, can I do something for you? I was wondering... I want to tell you something here. No, let's go. It's nothing. I got a few questions. Any trouble selling under the table? The authorities aren't making too many problems for you, are they? If they got me, they'd really get me. Things have changed since the end of the war. It's gotten real difficult. But seeing how I don't know how to do anything else... And, of course, it jacked up the prices. <laughs> See my merchandise? Show me what you got. 